Coming up on the Angus Report, what contributes to success in the packing segment of the beef business? Cattle Facts shares an outlook for grain and energy prices. An update from the National Beef Quality Audit. How genetics, management, and marketing all add value to your calves. Then we hit the court with a Minnesota Angus breeder with a passion for coaching high school basketball. This is the Angus Report. Hello and welcome to the Angus Report. I'm Bob Cervera. And I'm Jenna McCrell, and this week for Crystal Albers. Our top news this week. Fulfilling growing consumer demand for beef involves a collaborative effort across the entire production chain. Cow-calf producers rely on feeders and packers to build on their commitment to quality genetics in order to supply the best possible eating experience for consumers worldwide. Cameron Brewitt, head of corporate affairs for JBS USA, explains how the packing industry relies on cattle producers and the challenges that face their sector of the business moving forward. So the cow-calf sector is the most vital sector in our business. We all only succeed when each segment is successful. We might not be successful all at the same time, um, but we all need to be successful over the long term. Our new capacity squeeze, is it's not chain speed, it's not line speed, it's not cattle availability, it's not utilities. It is labor. It's difficult to have a consistent hourly workforce, um, particularly in the highly skilled positions. Um, so it's really changed for our industry. Labor is our new capacity squeeze. Brewitt was a featured speaker during the recent Cattle Industry Convention in Nashville, Tennessee. And you can read more from his presentation in the newsroom at angus.media. Record yields in 2016 has resulted in record supplies of U.S. feed grains. And while larger livestock inventories are supportive of demand and fewer acres are expected to be planted to corn, Cattlefax market analyst Mike Murphy sees the corn supply and demand situation as fairly balanced. Murphy shared an outlook on production and prices for the nation's grain, hay, and energy during the recent Cattlefax Outlook Seminar in Nashville, Tennessee. Murphy said U.S. acreage planted to corn is expected to decrease by 1.1 million acres in 2017, trimming production by 700 to 800 million bushels. He expects corn prices to remain fairly flat through the coming year, averaging around $3.45 per bushel. Regarding energy production, estimates call for global crude oil production at 79 million barrels per day during 2017. U.S. crude oil production is projected to increase to 9.2 million barrels per day. However, with lower total supplies, Murphy predicts higher energy prices in 2017. He expects prices to average around $2.49 per gallon for gasoline and $2.60 for diesel. Visit Angus.media to read more from the Cattle Facts Outlook Seminar. With an eye toward continual improvement in the cattle business, the National Beef Quality Audit is a comprehensive survey that evaluates industry efforts to improve product quality. Now in its 25th year, the audit provides valuable insight into production issues that ultimately impact consumer demand. Animal scientist Deb Van Overbeck with Oklahoma State University discusses the impact of the audit's findings. We're marking on 25 years of National Beef Quality Audit. And so that first audit done in 1991, focusing on a paper that was done by Chuck Lambert looking at lost opportunities in the beef industry. And so that first audit really looking at fat and quality and yield and those big target issues and how those audits have progressed to us completing the 2016 audit currently and getting ready to roll that information out. You know, if we continue to improve the quality, we improve our marketability and our market share, hopefully, to the consumer. And so it, that all ties together. But you're also going to see come from the audit kind of that lost opportunity calculation. And so what is that dollar value that's tied to not meeting a quality grade or yield grade or a weight consist that we can really use in the industry from our retail food service perspective? Results from the 2016 National Beef Quality Audit will be available this summer and you can learn more at bqa.org. While much of the West has experienced increased moisture levels recently, wildfire season remains a point of concern in the weeks and months ahead. One way ranchers can eliminate fuel for potential wildfires is by managing cheatgrass, also known as downy brome, which now dominates millions of acres in the West. Cheatgrass grows quickly in the spring, but soon matures and makes perfect fuel for wildfires. 
Grazing studies over the past few years have shown that the next year's fire danger can be greatly reduced by late fall grazing and using protein supplements to encourage cows to eat the mature dead cheatgrass. By grazing pastures in the spring and late fall, cattle can help eliminate leftover tonnage in the pasture, decrease the amount of fire fuel, and allow for fresh growth of other native grasses. Visit Angus.media for the complete Angus Journal story on cheatgrass and pasture management in the arid west. The future of the beef industry might be a result of some out-of-the-box thinking and advancements in technology. George Seidel, researcher at the Animal Reproduction and Biotechnology Laboratory at Colorado State University, is a well-known pioneer in beef cattle reproduction. And he's come up with an unconventional beef production model that only involve heifers, no cows. The advantages of this cowless system, that is an all heifer system, is that one doesn't have uh, a cow herd at all, and therefore one doesn't have to feed these uh, cows year round. A second thing is everything is growing, so it should be more efficient beef production. One breeds a heifer, uh, a yearling heifer to sex semen, and then hopefully she gets pregnant to that and has a heifer calf. And then the calf is weaned at about three months of age and the, the heifer then is fattened and slaughtered. So she has, however, replaced herself and, and therefore uh, one continues to have uh, a system. Read more about Seidel's research online at AppliedReproStrategies.com. For many winter and spring calving herds, this time of year is full of anticipation for that next great calf crop. Unusually warm temperatures have made the start of the calving season a positive one for many producers, and we've enjoyed seeing your photos on the American Angus Association's social media channels. It's a season full of promise and opportunity, each calf the result of precise breeding decisions and the years of genetic selection. They're often curious, and there's nothing quite like checking pastures when you know there are new arrivals on the way. Visit Angus.org or the Association's Facebook page for more photos of Angus calves born this season. When we return, achieving added value for your quality Angus genetics. Then we feature animal handling tips for all the women and working cowgirls on the ranch. Visit Angus.media to continue watching this episode of the Angus Report. This isn't a nine to five job. So when you check the pants one last time, put away the tools, and make sure everything's ready to hand off to the night crew. It's not the clock that tells you the day is over. It's the confidence of knowing you got it right. It's having one less thing to worry about when the sun goes down. So when you see the signs of BRD, choose confidence. Choose Zuprivo from Merck Animal Health. Talk to your veterinarian about Zuprivo for BRD treatment. Did you know that your checkoff works to grow demand for U.S. beef in more than 80 countries? Did you know export markets add more than $250 in value to each head? Did you know your checkoff works to develop, defend, and dispel in an effort to expand international markets? While you're focused on managing your beef business, your checkoff is developing new foreign markets and defending those where U.S. beef is currently sold. Get to know your checkoff at mybeefcheckoff.com. Briarwood Farms is turning green grass into black gold with their 2017 offering on March 19th in Butler, Missouri. Bid to win herd building genetics from ET packages by 10X and sits top game out of Sid Gen Foundation Buena Ann. Or set your sights on spring or fall bulls with genetics to grow your herd all the way from pasture to plate. Looking for females? Briarwood has productive open bred and cow calf pairs ready to turn green grass into black gold, including daughters by Sid Gen CC and Seven and Deer Valley All In. Sale begins at 1 p.m. at Briarwood Farms on March 19th or view the sale online. And don't forget every bull buyer is entered for a chance to win a commercial heifer. Today's beef consumer has questions. BQA has the answers. Your Beef Quality Assurance Certification allows you to share a story that assures customers that you are responsibly raising a safe, wholesome, and healthy beef supply. Becoming BQA certified just became even more convenient with a new interactive training experience that is online and available 
So what are you waiting for? Get started today by visiting bqa.org. Looking for high-quality range-raised bulls and females this spring? McCabe Genetics invites you to their 24th annual Bull and Commercial Female Sale, selling 1,000 head of high-quality cattle, all of them exposed to fescue, 190 Angus bulls, yearlings, 18 months and 2-year-olds, 60 Hereford bulls, 18 months and 2-year-olds, and 750 count of commercial females consigned by these operations sell. March 23rd at McCabe Genetics near Elk City, Kansas. Starts promptly at noon. Visit McCabeGenetics.com or call 620-332-4244. We'll see you March 23rd. Shock Cattle Company is a family owned and operated ranch uh, in southwest Idaho. Uh, we run a, uh, about 700 registered Angus cows. Integrity is very important to our family. Uh, it's our name that's behind these bulls. It's our brand that's on these bulls. And the I-50K test just helps us get there and in, add in more integrity to those cattle. Uh, that's something we, we require when we're selecting for herd bulls. It's something we like to pass on to our customers and, and take the guesswork out of that bull just a little more. Take the guesswork out of bull buying. Ask for I-50K. Learn more at I-50K.com. <laughs> 